On the way home today, I was listening to Me and My Dog by Boy Genius. Uh, so I want to make a beat like that today. Let's do it. So from what it sounds like, uh, I need an electric guitar, some synths, whistles, and like atmosphere, and some moderately compressed drums, which is easy. Let's do it. We need something pretty clean. So I think I'm just going to throw the iRig player on and just choose like a, I don't know, some sort of, I don't know, it's a luxury verb. That sounds good. All right, that's the whole guitar part. Let's uh, double it and do it again. Cool, we got both those guitar parts done. We got some uh, stereo width for the main guitars. Let's do some sort of lead on top of that, uh, mainly for the chorus, maybe even in the pre-chorus, we'll find something else out. I want something a little more overdriven. So for that, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna do the DeVille clean, but then I'm gonna throw some distortion on it for, maybe it's just some overdrive. Uh, I'll throw some TS on there. That's pretty good, maybe a little less. Cool, then I want some chorus on it. Um, let's do a digital chord. Okay, next on the list for guitar is the same sort of part, but with a little more aggression, because I want the last chorus to be a little more powerful. It's gonna have some drums. I'm also gonna double that chorus, because I feel like it should be a little longer. I'm gonna add two more guitar layers for width. Uh, I'm gonna do a left and a right of some different sort of melody. Well, maybe not a melody, but some sort of rhythm. And then I'm gonna redo the last part of the first guitar we recorded just to make it a little more energetic as well. I like it. I'm gonna go back to the first chorus we did, which is a little less energetic, and I'm gonna do the same sort of thing, but just a little less energetic. Um, I'm going to add some more guitar, it's still not as, as intense as I want it to be, so I'm going to throw on just some some custom clean amp and uh, strum. Yeah. Now I'm not going to paint these guitars hard right, hard left, I'm just going to pan them kind of halfway between left, halfway between right. Um, I want there to be some sort of contrast in the width of this production. So with keeping everything super hard left and hard right, there won't be any contrast. I'm gonna keep some stuff just halfway between so that there's a bit of difference. Okay, cool, I think that's good for guitars. I'm gonna add some drums now. So I'm gonna turn up the front right. Uh, I'm probably gonna turn up the surround. That's pretty good. I'm gonna switch the kick out. I want something a little more punchy. Uh, there's a little too much saturation on here. Something like that. Let's turn. Let's put Devilog on and just see what happens. Let's switch out that snare. All right, that should be fine for right now. Let's uh, let's give it a shot. I like that. That sounds pretty good. Um, let's see what we can do to make it just fit in a little bit better. I think I'm gonna throw some tape on it. Uh, and by that, I think I'm gonna use some Kramer tape. My playing isn't completely on time. Um, that's kind of for a reason. I, I want it a bit swayed. Uh, I feel like it's a little more emotional if it kind of falls off tempo and in the midst of it strumming real hard, something like that. So I'm not gonna quantize these drums. I'm gonna add a bit of a cymbal intro here, I think. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I kind of want a phaser on them, honestly. Um, not a phaser, sorry, a flanger. I'm going to put a flanger on, and I'm just going to automate the dry wet off right before the actual drop. Cool. 
cool. And then I'll do the same thing with the reverb. I'm actually gonna get rid of that flanger because I don't think it really did it. I like those drums a lot actually. Um, time to do some synth stuff. Bit of synth, bit of atmosphere. For the atmosphere stuff, I'm gonna use uh, Labs. Probably just like wind and rain. I'm gonna use this patch for now. But I think we'll have to do some mixing with it. Okay, we're gonna hide that right in the back. Get some reverb on it. I'm gonna throw GHZ Lossy. Make it really. Yeah, there we go. All right, now we'll hop into Analog Labs and uh, we'll see what we can find. Okay, I think I want to keep it pretty bare bones up until the last chorus part. So we'll just cut in there. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we need some bass. I don't have a bass right now. Um, my plugins crash and I open them because I'm on the Ableton beta, so I'm gonna choose one of the bases in here. I like this little Juno bass, so I'll use that. Um, let's see if there's any chords we can add. All right, this is what we got for the verse. Pre-course. The first chorus. And the last chorus. I like it. I think it's a pretty good Boy Genius beat. Um, you can always add more. They like to use a lot of like ear candy and stuff like that. Uh, this is pretty bare bones. You can add whatever you want to it, but this is pretty much the basics of a Boy Genius beat. Well, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want. Let me know what you want to see in the comments below. Yeah, bye-bye.